Question number two. How did Douglas overcome his fear of water? How did he overcome his fear of water? First, he arranged a trainer. The trainer put a waist belt. Means, he put a belt around his waist, Douglas' waist. waist. He attached one end of a rope to his waist belt. The other end went through a pulley and the instructor held the other end of the rope. He loosened the rope. Douglas, narrator, went deep into the water. He made him learn how to dip into the water, how to exhale, how to inhale. Then he made him learn the side stroke, the breast stroke, the crawl stroke and many other tricks of swimming. This way, bit by bit, the trainer made him a complete swimmer. The trainer was finished, but the narrator, Douglas, was not finished. He had some residual doubts over fear. So he decided to go to different water bodies, different places. He went to Lake Wentworth, Mid Glacier, Connard Meadows, and many other water bodies, many other places. He swam across the pool. Sometimes in the midst, in the midst of swimming, he felt terrified. But he gathered all his courage to challenge fear. He challenged fear. He felt terror ran away, fear ran away, fled. He got victorious over fear. He understood the cause of fear is fear itself. If you fear death, there is fear. If you challenge fear, there is victory. So this way, Douglas overcame his fear of water. Let us go to number three.